Hey, this is Jim, and in this segment of CES Classroom, I'm going to show you exactly how to make screen capture videos, just like I'm making right now, using any presentation software. You can use PowerPoint, you can use Open Offices product, which is called Impress. You can use Keynote, which is an Apple product. It doesn't matter which one you use. You can make videos like I'm making right now, step people through a slide presentation, and record it all using a tool called Snagit. S-N-A-G-I-T. Just look for Snagit on Google. That's what I'm using. And there's multiple screen capture tools you can use. Jing is another one. J-I-N-G. It's free. And you can keep your videos under five minutes with Jing and it works great. If you go over five minutes it stops. But there's all kinds of options out there. I like Snagit. That's what I'm using now. By the time you're done watching this video I think you'll be comfortable doing exactly what I'm doing right now which is recording a screen capture video. Now here's what my screen looks like as I'm ready to begin working on my recording. As you can see what I've done is I've left open the slide view on the side. So I'm not in presentation mode where the main screen takes over my complete monitor. I leave it in slide mode where I, in editing mode where I can see all the slides listed over here and here's the slide that I want my audience to see. That's important to remember when recording screen capture presentations never go into presentation mode because that takes away a lot of your control. You want to have all your slides showing right over here and your main slide here. You have your headphones on, you've already done a sound check, you've made sure that your voice is coming through loud and clear, maybe even do a little test recording first so that you know your audio sounds good and then you start going. If I could give you one super powerful tip for making your video go smoothly in one take without any editing needed because with Snagit there is no editing. Like if I mess up this video right now we're two minutes in already. If I make a major blunder I'll just start over and do it again. I found that's way easier. Now if you use a product called Camtasia C-A-M-T-A-S-I-A -A, you can go back in and easily edit your videos. It's far more robust and more expensive than Snagit. Snagit is super cheap and like I mentioned before, Jing is free. You can use any of those tools plus a good number of others. But if you make a mistake, I just start over. I want to make powerful 5-10 minute videos anyway. And once you get used to the one powerful tip I'm about to tell you, and that's this, use the pause button a lot. In recording this video, for example, I've already used the pause button four times to gather my thoughts, to make sure my screen looks the way I want, I want it to look, and then I continue my presentation. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. The first step in beginning your recording with Snagit is to find the big red button. It looks just like this and there's a few other features but you can learn to use you can learn Snagit in a few minutes. They give you a big red button and when you click that big red button here's what happens next. Your screen goes gray and they give you this little marching ants dotted line. I can't illustrate it right now because I took screen captures in order to make this video, but this is what my screen looks like when I'm starting to record with Snagit. So I've selected the window now and you can see over here to the side I've still got all my slides up. I don't want to grab the whole window. I don't want to try to do that. I never record my entire monitor. It's way too big and it takes away all the controls that I have at the bottom of the page. right? here as you can see the controls you've got the camera you've got the video camera you've got uh, some other information here and let me just show you what happens if I click the camera I would just simply take a picture of everything that's in the orange dotted line if I click the video camera icon however that's when uh, I start a recording I'll show you what that looks like as soon as I click the video camera icon my screen changes to something like this. It tells me that uh, I'm using my Logitech headset for audio. Make sure I've got my got that on. This little bar down here as I talk into my microphone, it'll start bouncing so I know that it's working. If I want to change my audio source, I click here. I can then begin the recording by clicking the record button. And as soon as I do, it will change to a pause button. So if I want to pause the video at any point, I just click pause. And again, to illustrate my point how often I use pause, I've already used it seven or eight times in the making of this video so far because I want to make sure I get my screen looking the way I want it, that I'm only capturing what I want to illustrate next. 
I gather my thoughts for the next slide that I'm about to present, and then I begin the recording again. So literally all I'm doing is pausing and recording, clicking this button over and over until I'm done and happy with my video, at which time I'll click the square, which means stop. But let me just show you a couple of the things that you're going to see when you're recording your content. As the countdown clock starts counting upwards, 13, 14, 15, it's recording and it's telling you how long your video is. You'll also notice this orange line here. It's now a solid orange line while it's recording and while it's paused as well. It will remain solid, but that's the only thing that's being captured by the video camera. All this information over here, your notes, your other slides, they're not being captured, just what's inside this window, which is why I like to stay in author's edit mode, where I can see all my slides here, and I can see my big slide here, and I can adjust the size, get it just how I want it, and then pop from slide to slide, remembering to pause each time so that I don't bore my audience with any technical details. As I approach the last slide in my presentation, and I talk about it, I wrap up, I can use my mouse to illustrate any area of the slide that I want to talk about, and it's all being recorded. I then will come down and hit the stop button at the end. Within a couple of moments of having hit the stop button, a screen that looks like this will appear. What it's showing me is the opening slide of my presentation, along with a play button where I can listen to my presentation and see how it sounds, and check it out, and also down here, the most important part, something I just love about Snagit, I can click this button and Snagit gives me a link within moments. You'll see a little blue box appear here and the blue box will fill up and by the time the blue box is full, you've got an uploaded video that you can do whatever you want with. It's a link that you can drop into an email, an email to someone, you could send it as content on a Facebook post, for example, and anyone could view it. It's basically storing it on Snagit's server for you. That's all you have to do. You've made a video. You're done. But it's not a real friendly format for sharing if anyone else needs to edit it or use, edit it somehow or use the file. In that case, I suggest you use this icon, which means you tell Snagit where your Google uh, account is. This is a free Google Doc account. It's all you need to have this and you'll upload the video as a file to your Google Doc. There's a couple other options for uploading. If you click the little arrow in the bottom right hand corner you'll see the other options including uploading it directly to YouTube, putting the video in your Dropbox file, throwing it out to Twitter for example. If you're going to create content for CES Classroom we'd really like you just to upload it to your Google account and then make sure it's set as a shareable file and that's a great way to send it to us or if you're more comfortable with Dropbox that's fine as well we can grab it and do what we want to do with it hey I hope you've enjoyed this presentation I love helping you out with quick tips that can help you improve your business and I appreciate you being a member of the CES classroom if you want more information on this please join our Facebook discussion I'll be happy to help you out there's other people who are really good way better than me even at making great screen capture presentations I've learned a fair bit over time, but I would love to be able to help you get to the next level of making this kind of content because I've built my entire career over making really helpful screen capture videos like this, posting them on YouTube and other places, and people seem to just love them. You can get right to the point very quickly. And hey, don't forget, if you're looking to build your business, we have a great coaching team that can help you out. Give us a call sometime. Let's talk about it. This is Jim signing off. Thanks for watching this episode of CES Classroom.